Welcome, in front of me is a My Phone Fun 8 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So before we get started there is a couple things that we will need. Number one is a free SIM card that you can put into this device that works. And then number two is another phone that you can call uh, this device from. So I already have a phone that I will use to call this device. And uh, yeah. So also you will need to connect to Wi-Fi so we can uh, download a couple things. So before you actually begin the process, connect to Wi-Fi right now. Uh, throughout the setup, you will have the step where you basically need to connect. And once you are connected, we can then begin by calling uh, this phone. So I'm going to do that right now. And from here, you have this message icon. So drag it up and choose write your own. And you can drop the column of phone right here. So from here, let's go into the three dots, details, and then app settings. And go to notifications. Tap on the messaging app itself, like so. Scroll down, SMS app. Again, scroll all the way down to opening links. Then scroll down choose a YouTube and then again tap on the icon itself scroll to where is it um, up notifications right here and then down to additional settings in the app so in the last option it will open up this and from here you have history and privacy and at the bottom, YouTube, Terms of Service, and this will open up browser. So now let's just tap on Accept and Continue, Next, and No Thanks, we don't want to log in. And we should be now fully in browser, so let's tap on the search bar and navigate into how do we set that info. And from here, tap on the three bars right here and go into the downloads category. So right here. And then in the search field for the download, you want to search for Android 8. Like so. And from here you can see only one app, so FRP Bypass. And you can tap on the download right here. Again, scroll down and tap on download once more. Continue. And we want to allow so it can save it. So allow. And now tap on download. And once more tap on OK to confirm the download. And there we go, it's downloaded, so open it up. And we need to grant access, so let's tap on the settings. Allow from this source, so check this and go back and install. And once it installs, open it up. And there we go, so we're now in the app. And from here, you want to Start off by tapping on the Google Account Manager APK install for version 6.0. Then again, let's go into the settings. Allow from this source, go back and install. And this time around, we just want to click on done. Uh, open is not an option. So there we go, done. And then tap on the FRP bypass right here choose browser sign in and here tap on the three dots and again tap on browser sign in and okay and from here you can log in with your existing uh, Google account now if you don't have one you can always create one and then use it to log in um, so 
I already have one so I don't need to create, that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna put in a password for it, so I'll move that off the screen. And sign in. You can see it's signing in right now, and once it has, it goes back to the app. So from here, hold power key, tap on restart, okay, and let's wait for the device to restart. So from here, we can again connect to Wi-Fi. And now once we approach the page where it normally would tell us to verify our account, it should show us that account has been added. And there we go, account added. And it shows us the account that I have added right before the restart, as you can see. So for you, it should show something else. So let's tap on next. And not now. It doesn't really matter how you set it up right now. Uh, we just want to get it, gain access to the home screen uh, where, from where we will perform another reset of the device to basically remove uh, both of the accounts, the one that was blocking us and the one that we have added right now. So just skip through most of this as much as you can. So there we go, we're almost on the home screen. And let's go into the settings. And from settings, scroll down to system, reset options, erase all data, and here you have the key component. So uh, it will remove and provide your Google account. And you can see that the Google account that we have added. Um, so this one is mine for you. Like I said, it should be a different one. Um, and it also will remove another account, the one that was blocking us, but it's not provided in here, although it doesn't really matter, it will still get removed. So let's tap on reset phone, erase everything, and simply wait for the device to reset itself again, and we should be then back in the setup screen. So I'll be back once the setup screen is visible. And as you can see now the process is finished, so we can go through the setup process as however we like. And the device is now fully unlocked. Now again, once more, I will just go through the setup process fairly quickly, skipping as much as I can just to save on time. But you can now add any kind of password, whatever protections, and just set it up as you would normally do. And key thing is, you can now skip the Wi-Fi connection, which normally the device would be still locked. You would not be able to do so, so that's already a good sign. Let's skip most of this, next, not now. And as you can see, we're now on the home screen with the device fully unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.